Uh, welcome back to the channel and another episode looking at turning um, Backman's model of Reneus uh, into a slightly more uh, plausible uh, model of uh, Dolgok, uh, the real loco that, that, that Reneus is based on. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we've looked at doing numerous things so far, um, dealing with taking the chimney off, um, dealing with the, the plastic uh, parts um, and in this episode uh, I just want to talk about another change to the main body casting. Uh, now if you look at these two side by side as well as having removed the chimney oops, you'll see that I've now uh, milled off the coal load on this side. Uh, the local never had, the real local has never had a coal bunker on this side. Um, so I've now taken that off. <clears throat> so I used um, the mill on my uh, Unimat 3. Um, I didn't take any videos while doing it. I like to be able to um, concentrate on on the on the milling. Um, <clears throat> the mill isn't something I use very often. I've used it probably only a couple of times and um, yeah large chunks of spinning metal um, and parts held in vices that if I don't get it right could go flying around. Um, I wanted to concentrate on it while it was running. I did take a photo of this uh, of it part way through the process, uh, which I'll, I'll put up here somewhere, um, so you can see how it was held in the vise. Um, but um, yeah, this is basically straight from the mill. Uh, there's a tiny little bit of cleanup still to do. I couldn't quite get this edge off, uh, but I'll clean that up. I also seem to have gone slightly too low. I think I should have been flush with the top of this. Um, just as you'll see in a minute when we fit the cab, there's now a bit of a gap. Uh, but I had that issue with Scarlowe as well, so we'll um, we'll fix that. Um, this was the the milling bit. It's a three millimeter, uh, two two edged um, milling bit, um, and I just very carefully kind of worked it backwards and forwards um, across the coal load to give me a nice a nice surface. Um, it is a bit of a pain on my on my mill um, because I don't have the fine feed attachment for the mill. Um, so you can't just kind of gently turn it, turn it down. Um, you have to kind of just pull on the pull on the handle to pull it down. So um, taking thin cuts is is a bit of a pain. Uh, I think I did three passes in the end at different depths to remove the whole whole coal load. Uh, I didn't want to go too hard because I didn't want to risk um, damaging anything. But I, I think I've got away with it. It all seems to uh, have come off nicely. As I said, this could still do with some cleanup, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it. I think with a plate. Um, if you take the cab that we looked at last time, uh, you'll see that now it, it fits at the side, which is good because previously it didn't fit because this protuberance um, got fouled on the coal. Uh, but if you look at it from the front, you can see that now, while it sits on the side of the bunker, there's a bit of a gap. You can see the pin um, and, a, and a bit of a gap. So I will make a plate. Um, how to work out the depth, either from some brass or some aluminium sheet, whatever is the right thickness. Uh, that can slot in there, uh, which is exactly, as I say, exactly what I did on on um, <clears throat> on the turning the Scarlowe model into Talonin. Uh, I had to put a plate in there, uh, but that now fits together, which means also that we can now fit this back to the foot plate. Uh, so there we go. That's um, quite a nice bit of progress by having by just milling that off means I can now get the parts back together. So at this point, in theory, I can start actually reassembling. Um, obviously, <clears throat> again, um, this all needs painting and stuff, and I need to work out where all the pipe works going before I really do do anything else. Um, I think the plan for painting it will probably be um, I'll probably work out where the pipe works going, make up all the pipe work, and then take it off, um, and then glue these two parts together um, so I can paint all of this as one piece. Um, just because, again, I think the getting the paint right across the joins will be, and the any weathering will be easier if it's one piece. I suppose I could do the under the base colours um, as separate pieces, which might make painting the inside of the the cab easier. But certainly these, again, these will get joined together, um, pretty much like I did on um, on Talilin, really, um, joined together before uh, as one thing, and, and the final the the main weathering um, done. Uh, with this piece uh, then painted separately as well and then they, again they just kind of slot together nice and straightforwardly um, so yeah so that's nice um, nice progress uh, quite happy with that it's always um, 
I was a little worried when I'm putting something in the mill that it's not be, that it's being held square and tightly so that when you mill it doesn't it doesn't go flying. <clears throat> I'm not a particular I'm not a machinist. Um, I can I can do basic things with the with the lathe, but as I say, the mill um, I've used it a couple of times. Um, so quite happy that I've managed to to pull that off. Um, and yeah, it, it all seems to be uh, coming together quite nicely now, compared with how long it took me to do um, Skylowe. Um, this is all coming along quite nicely. I mean, obviously, there's a bit more here in the fact that I'm using there's more in the kit, so I'm having to make less choices. Um, about what I chop up and how I uh, modify things compared with um, compared with doing Scalloway uh, to to tally them, but I'm I'm really happy with this. So um, yeah, so the next thing I think will be sorting out detail on the back head, um, and then um, scouring uh, photos um, to work out where I'm going to run all the pipes and things. Uh, again, apparently they they move around depending on. Um, the date at which you're looking at photos so I need to find a photo or two that I'm happy with um, so that I can uh, I can make sure that those are all consistent at least with each other um, otherwise I'll end up with like two pipes for the same thing or that kind of that kind of thing so uh, yeah I'm getting there happy with that um, as I, say, I think that's the that's the scariest bit of the of the process over with um, everything else is kind of hand tools um, and even you know clean it cleaning this up uh, with some hand tools now and then plating it over should be nice and nice and easy um, just getting the the milling out of the way uh, was the was the scary part <laughs>